Good morning. It's my last day in Austin and I'm really sad about it. I really am not ready to leave. I've had the best time here. And this morning I have to finish packing all of my stuff. I've done one half of the little small suitcase and I'm trying to fit all the heaviest things into the little suitcase because I have this big suitcase getting checked, but I can take a little one with an unlimited weight as long as I can put it in the overhead with me on carry-on. So I'm going to save myself having to check two bags if I do this properly. I think it's gonna work out totally fine, but I do need to start rolling all of my clothes and packing them in. progress all of my electronics are basically put away I'm gonna switch to my phone though because I need to put my camera here and then I can zip it all up and pop it in the little suitcase I have to pull down my tripod and my large suitcase is basically done except for all of my socks <laughs> I grabbed myself a coffee. I also grabbed out my laptop because I need to keep editing a video. I just ordered some breakfast as well and I have about an hour until I have to start boarding the flight. have my bags that was super fast we did have to sit on the tarmac for nearly half an hour 40 minutes waiting for a gate to be open but once we got off the plane super super fast i was in the last seat on the last row had dull to myself it was great but now we're gonna head on out Good morning, happy Friday. I've made myself coffee, got my little laptop at the desk here. It's nice and cozy. It's my first full day in Toronto. I just started using my daily schedule planner to schedule out some of the things I'm doing today. This morning, I've already been out to grab some groceries. I came home, made coffee. Now I'm sitting here and it's just about to hit 9 a.m. I am going to get ready and then at 10.30 I have to leave here and it's going to take me about 45 minutes to walk to meet Liz and we're gonna go for a good morning walk. We call them manifestation walks. We walk through the really nice suburbs and just talk about all the things that we would like to achieve, our goals and all that kind of thing. It's really cool. I don't know how long that'll take. And then I have a video going live at one. I don't have a lot of set stuff to do today. I'm just gonna ease in. I did not sleep very well last night because I have a bit of a migraine. So I'm just going to uh, see where I can fit some things in. Oh, I actually have to design a Japanese yen budget planner. So that is going to go in right now. Okay, so my first full day in Toronto. It is a beautiful sunny day. 
Thankfully, the weather is starting to warm up here. It's not as warm as Austin, but it's gonna start getting warm very, very soon. I am about to head out and meet up with Liz and go for a morning manifestation walk. We used to go on these like manifestation walks where we would walk through the nice suburb and we just talk about all the goals and things that we wanna achieve and I love doing that. And then I think I might head into Yorkville and go to the Lululemon because I have for months now, like almost a year, been wanting one of their little belt bag things and in the last couple of weeks especially when I've been out on my morning walks I've just been really wanting to have one so I think I'm gonna go and have a look and see what they've got in store and just check them out uh, but yeah so we're gonna go for a walk get in some steps and I don't really know what my day is going to involve I guess I will update you this afternoon about exactly what's happening because I haven't really done that yet but, but hey I went from Austin to Toronto and that's about as much information as I have right now no I will totally update you in a bit I'm just gonna run out for this walk otherwise I'm gonna be late Just grabbed a coffee and a couple of hash browns. We've come into Indigo to have a little bit of a look. I love Indigo. It is one of my favorite stores here in Canada. It has everything. I have a set of pajamas. In fact, I think these right here are the pajamas that I have and I love them and I have been wearing them nonstop for the last few months, but I kind of, oh, right here actually, want to look at the summer version. I think it's short sleeved and has shorts and maybe in a color because as much as I love the black, I really kind of want some color in my life this summer. That's my, my two personalities. I am like, everything's black in winter and then I add color in summer and I love it. And they have 25% off for Plum Plus members right now. So it's kind of a deal, kind of a deal. I have had the best first full day back in Toronto. I went and met up with Liz. I walked a lot today. I've done over 20,000 steps. I'm not gonna lie, my legs are a little sore, but I went for a very, very long walk. I met up with Liz and then we walked around Yorkville and I picked up a couple of things, which I'm really excited about. I did end up getting the little Lululemon belt bag thingy because I've been thinking about it so much for the last couple of weeks. In particular, yesterday when I was at the airport, I just was like, I wish I had the belt on my waist with my passport and my phone in it. And every morning I go for a walk, I just wish I had this to put keys and stuff in. I've been thinking about this since last year, but it's only in the last month or so that I've been back outside being very active every day that I'm like, I want it. So uh, they had heaps in store. So I picked one up and I'm very happy about it. I was able to put all my keys and belongings in it to walk home with. And then I also went to Sephora as well because my MAC lipstick is almost finished and I'm not repurchasing it. I had, I had mentioned at the beginning of April when I was doing the whole makeup testing that that MAC lipstick, which is called Thanks It's MAC, is the lipstick that I've been using, but I don't like it. Instead, I decided to get the little Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit. It's uh, 25 US dollars or 30 Canadian and I actually had a little voucher so I got $10 off and it comes with a little lip pencil and a little lipstick and it's what I'm wearing right now and I really really like this color combination. I think it's a pretty popular combination so I picked that up as well and I just had a really lovely day wandering around Yorkville and hang out with Liz and just being back in Toronto, it's been great, but I haven't really explained anything, so I probably should give you the update on what's happening. So I am in Toronto. I have spent the last almost seven weeks in Austin. I don't know where the time has gone. I can't believe I spent that long there. Before that, I had 10 days in Japan, and before that, I was back in Australia for about three or four months. Three months? I think it was about three months. 
yeah, three months. I've had a lot of questions about whether I'm gonna be getting an apartment here in Toronto, you know, have I moved back to Toronto? And the answer is no to both of those. I have not moved back to Toronto and no, I will not be getting an apartment here. In fact, I don't think that I will get my own place at all this year. I decided last year when I packed up my Toronto apartment and I have a whole video on why I left uh, Toronto in the first place, but essentially my visa came to an end and you can't stay in the country illegally and I didn't want to do that because it's really bad so I had to leave and I decided it was time to pack up my apartment and I went back to Australia for a little bit and I decided that 2023 would be the year that I would take advantage of my job and become a bit of a digital nomad. I am very very fortunate that I can work from anywhere as long as I have my laptop and my camera. My job comes wherever with me and so it's been really interesting for the last five months not having my own home and my own space because I'm so used to it. A lot of my content is around home related stuff so it's been really interesting navigating not having my own space but still trying to make those kinds of more homey organizational videos and whatnot and take you along on this journey. So the vision that I have for 2023 and how I see my life going is not exactly traveling the world in the, I guess, more traditional sense of being a tourist. I will have trips this year that are a bit smaller where I will be a tourist. Japan, that was that trip. It was 10 days. I did all the sightseeing, all the exploring, and it was fabulous. But Austin, I just sort of lived there and I was just living my day-to-day -day life. In fact, back in April, I did mention in one of my videos that I thought it was really boring. I was like, oh, I've just come to this new city, but I'm just living my ordinary day-to-day -day life. And so many of you said that you love just the, the, the daily routine that I have where I you know, go on my walks and I have my morning routine and I work and I clean and I cook and just the very chill life that I live. Uh, so I want to do that and just do it in a variety of different places around the world this year. So I guess my goal for this year is to live my very ordinary life in extraordinary places and just see what the world has to offer and yeah, just take advantage of the very fortunate position I am in to be able to take my work with me. And so yeah, I did almost seven weeks in Austin. I'm gonna probably do about seven weeks here in Toronto, but it could change at any point, right? Like that's the beauty of this. It's very flexible. I just have to figure it out as I go along. But I think I might be here for about a month and a half and then I'm gonna head on to the next location, which I'm still figuring out the details of, but I'll let you know when I have figured it out. But no, I'm not gonna be getting an apartment. No, I'm not gonna be moving back to Toronto just yet. I think for the rest of 2023, I will just be here, there, and everywhere around the world, just figuring it out. And then maybe next year, I might find somewhere, get my own place again, or maybe not. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, and I like it. <laughs> I highly value a sense of adventure, and I decided, yeah, last year to sort of take that risk and no longer have my own home and my own space, and I feel so free and I feel probably the lightest, most happiest I've felt in a while and the uncertainty is fun and I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm thriving in this weird situation, but it's a challenge and it's a challenge that I'm really enjoying and I'm having fun and I'm getting to see the world while I do it. And yeah, I, I am very appreciative of the situation that I'm in to be able to do this because I do know that this is a very privileged uh, decision to make to leave behind my own home and go off and see the world and I understand that and very thankful for it and that's just how I see yeah 2023 going so that I hope is a bit more of an insight into what I'm doing this year but yeah, I'm back in Toronto. I'm gonna go and take you around at some point, show you where I used to live and give, I'm, I feel like I should run you down on a little bit of my old morning routine because I didn't give a lot of context of where I was living last time. And so this time I was like, you know what? I'll take you to my building. I'll take you to like my area and show you all the things that I used to get up to and whatnot. And I'm just so excited to catch up with my friends, which I'm doing this weekend and just, yeah, enjoying Toronto again. Cause I love it here. I am about to make a cup of tea. I'm gonna put the kettle on. I got halfway through it and I'm like, no, I'm making a cup of tea. I'm going to do my nails this afternoon because they just need it. And I'm also going to do like a full beauty afternoon because it's the weekend. I want to look good. I think I might fake tan and I'm also going to do a purple conditioner all through my hair. I need to get my hair done because it's just, it's really dark and a little orangey toned and I just, I need it judged, you know? Anyway, that is um, the update. 
um, I'm going to, yeah, get in and do the rest of my afternoon. I've removed all of the dip off one hand. I'm now gonna do this nice pink color. It's called Geraldton Wax from Dipped. I love the dipped powders. I will have a link down below to an entire web page on my website that explains all of the products that I use and how I like to do my nails. I'm gonna dip these up and get them pink. Mm -hmm. 